All right, this should be a relatively short section. It since we've been spending a lot of time talking about energy, um, there there is a very clear and real world relationship between energy and nutrition. People talk uh, about calories a lot when they talk about food, and we've been talking about calories as a unit that's used to measure energy, and they're, they are the same thing. Um, so on food labels, when you look at food that you buy at the store, energy is shown, uh, at least in the United States, usually in terms of calories. And it's a special kind of unit called a nutritional calorie. It's not the same as the calorie that we've been talking about. It's related to the calorie that we've been talking about, but it's not the same. Um, the nutritional calorie uh, should be written with a capital C. Um, so calorie like this instead of calorie with a lowercase c like we have been writing. Um, a lot of times, I'm not sure how true this is, but I took this from your book. They say in countries other than the U.S., energy is sometimes uh, energy is shown in kilojoules. So we talked about how a joule is also a unit for measuring energy, and a kilojoule would be a thousand joules. I'm not really sure uh, how many countries actually show um, food energy in kilojoules. They they may do that. I'm just not sure about it. Um, what I will tell you though is one nutritional calorie. In other words with a capital C is the same thing as 1,000 calories that we were talking about earlier. Uh, another way of saying that is one nutritional calorie is the same thing as one kilocalorie of energy. So there's a relationship, there's a pretty simple relationship. A thousand um, regular calories that we've been talking about is equal to one nutritional calorie. Um, this is a table taken from your book and what they want to show you is just the average amount of energy that you can get from different types of foods. So for example, if we look at carbohydrates, um, your average carbohydrate uh, food, you can get about 17 kilojoules worth of energy per gram. This G here, this G right here is standing for gram. So what this means in English is for every one gram of carbohydrate, you can get about 17 kilojoules worth of energy out of it. Um, there is a relationship between kilojoules and kilocalories. So if you convert the units from kilojoules to kilocalories, uh, one gram worth of carbohydrate gives you about four kilocalories worth of energy. Um, I believe the conversion is that there are about 4.184 joules per uh, one calorie. So um, you can do the conversion if you wanted to. Fats, fats, uh, the reason they make you fat and the reason they've made me fat is because they have more energy, uh, probably more than you might necessarily need uh, in your diet. And so one gram of fat has about 38 kilojoules worth of energy. And you can compare that to one gram of carbohydrate. Um, which has less. It has uh, uh, less than half of the amount of energy that a gram of fat has. And so there, there are conversions for kilocalories here. Protein and carbs have on average about the same amount of energy per gram. So this, this again, there's uh, nothing earth shattering to take away from this table. It's just showing you that different types of food have uh, on average different amounts of energy stored away in them that you can get out of them. So that's it for uh, energy and nutrition.